Young Thug released from jail after guilty plea on gang charges. U.S. rapper Young Thug was released from jail Thursday evening after pleading guilty to gang, drug and gun charges, in a dramatic twist that ended the longest criminal trial in Georgia history. The 33-year-old Grammy winner, born Jeffrey Lamar Williams, has spent more than 900 days behind bars since his arrest on racketeering and gang-related charges. In May 2022, Prosecutors allege the rap label he founded was a front for an organized crime syndicate responsible for 75 to 80 percent of violent crime in Atlanta. He was sentenced on Thursday to time served in 15 years of probation, and jail records show he was released later that night. I take full responsibility for my crimes, for my charges, Mr. Williams told the court. To really everybody that has got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry. In a five-minute speech, he described himself as a good guy with a good heart who found himself in a lot of stuff because I was just nice or cool. And I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad. And it could fall on you. Prosecutors had planned to recommend a sentence of 45 years, including 25 in custody and 20 on probation. But the plea negotiations were unsuccessful, and Superior Court Judge Paige Whitaker instead chose his punishment, commuting his sentence to the time he has already served, paving the way for his release. I want you to try to be more of the solution and less of the problem, Judge Whitaker told him. As part of the deal, Mr. Williams pleaded guilty to one gang charge, three drug charges and two gun charges. He also entered a no-contest plea to leading a gang and violating the state's racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO, Act, meaning that he decided not to contest those charges and accepts punishment for them. Judge Whitaker additionally stipulated 100 hours of community service, a ban on contact with gang members or former co-defendants, and a prohibition from remaining in the metropolitan Atlanta area for the first 10 years of his 15-year probation period except under special circumstances, including weddings, funerals and the anti-gang and anti-gun presentations he is required to host four times a year. Thursday's change of plea brings an end to a multi-defendant case that was plagued by multiple delays, courtroom disturbances and motions for mistrial. When the man known to his fans as Thugger was arrested in May 2022, prosecutors charged him and 27 associates at his rap label, Young Stoner Life, YSL, records, with conspiracy to violate the RICO Act, famously used in mafia prosecutions. Arguing that YSL in fact stands for a criminal gang called Young Slime Life, they tied the men, including fellow rap superstar Gunna, to a series of felony offenses, including murder armed robbery and carjacking in the streets of Atlanta.